I have wanted to become a foster parent probably since I was in my 20s. And I think it was like an article I read in a magazine and I thought that's what I really want to do. <laughs> Marty and I were not able to have kids the normal way, so we decided to go with fostering. What is that, an onion? We learned from some friends that fostering was really important in San Diego and that there weren't enough foster parents. I think I've been doing this since I could remember. This is the natural instinct that I've had within my heart. Matt was a foster child growing up and uh, I met his foster parents, lovely people. I um, heard a lot of their stories about how they gave back to other kids and we thought we could do it. In our home we have eight children right now, seven that are adopted and one that's a foster child. My husband and I have been resource parents for 48 years, since December of 1973. It was my own experience as um, a 16-year-old pregnant teenager in San Diego. You had to leave the school, family, friends no longer spoke to you, their children were not allowed to be around you. When I met my husband and we got married, I told him that I really would like to help other people in the same situation. And so that's what got me started. Foster care is not adoption. Foster care is taking care of a child and strengthening a family so that that family goes away stronger. You have to remember that the mission is reunify this family and help them put themselves back together. Not all the kids come in as infants. They come in as three-year-olds, five-year-olds, seven-year-olds, 12-year-olds, so many different age groups. It's not easy. I'm not gonna say that it's easy because it's not. A lot of our kids have behaviors that they have to work through. And like I said, it's busy. There's a lot of appointments when you're a resource parent, but it's definitely rewarding. Man, I mean, it's, it's been a dream come true. That's a fact. But it hasn't been a walk in the park, right? So it's a learning curve, and it's about opening your heart and your home to children who have a lot of needs. And you got this pew pew. Just always be there for them. Even if they leave your home, they remember. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's challenging at times because you don't know their story. It's a hard period of trauma for that child, you know, being taken unexpectedly from their parents in some cases. On the first night, we had our youngest as an infant. He wrapped his little hand around my finger and just held it. It just felt really good to be there for him in that time of need. If you can establish that working relationship with the bio family to begin with and let them know, hey, I'm not here to adopt your child, I'm here to help you reunify, that takes some of the stress and pressure off of them so they can focus on the things that they need to do, parenting classes, drug abuse classes, you know, dealing with the, the court system. As you get to know the parents, you realize that you're not that different from them, you know, that we are just maybe a few bad decisions away from being them. <laughs> the people that you meet on this journey are exceptional. The mm -hmm. county is exceptional, the lawyers are exceptional, the judges are exceptional. They're doing jobs trying to keep the kids safe and put them <clears throat> on a path to success, and that is huge. There was a whole group of people helping out with each kid. It wasn't just us. So we, we weren't alone. We would sit at a table with a bunch of other professionals and then we would work together. When you bring them into your home, you bring them into your life. You can't treat them as anything except family. And we all know families aren't perfect, so you just have to roll with the punches. You do find that there's a lot of love in your heart and you do have enough. The first time they actually look at you intently or smile or giggle or, you know, all of the little amazing when they laugh in their sleep. Yes, smile or laugh in their sleep. Those milestones are awesome. I don't ever think that, oh, thank God they have me, you know? Thank God I have them in my life to 
complete my day, complete my journey, you know? We're all on this path somewhere and these kids are a part of our journey and we absolutely love it.